switch up the view a little bit. <laughs> Sorry for the background noise, but I thought I'd switch up the view a little bit. This is my room in New York City. I live on the mattress on the floor by choice. Um, I was only living here for like six months, so I thought that buying a bed wasn't necessary until like my plans were finalized. So okay, that's all irrelevant. So let let's get let's get to it. So um, I wanted to take this YouTube channel that doesn't have as many videos on it as I'd like but I wanted to start something fresh with it, something new and try and structure it a little bit more so this video is going to be the introduction video to what I want to call it's inspired by Amanda Bucci's, um project me um, I'm going to call it something a little different uh, based on my own personal experience and call it my time I don't know how many episodes it's going to be I know at least 10 um, if I can make it more, I'll make it more. If I want to make a second type of series after it as a sequel, I'll try and do that. But at least 10 because I think that's like a solid. I, I like multiples of 5 so I just want to make a solid number like that. As far as the series, I wanted to focus on um, my take on diet. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm saying it's my take. So that would be how I live vegan in terms of, especially because I'm surrounded by people who are not vegan. Um, and how I incorporate fitness into my life, uh, different aspects of fitness that I think need to be discussed, like over-exercising, balance, uh, how proper workout splits, is there a one workout split that's better? Spoiler alert, there is As part of episode one I want of my time, I wanted to make it just an introduction about who I am, what I do, why I started this channel in the first place, why I think I'm qualified to have a YouTube channel. I, I don't think I'm qualified to have a YouTube channel. So I thought I would do so by making this a Q&A format. The only thing is traditionally Q&As are questions that you get from other people. Instead, I don't have people asking me like a lot of questions on any social media because um, I'm just starting out, which is fine. So I came up with 10 questions with the help of a few friends, uh, with my magical non-existent edi <laughs> editing skills, you should hopefully see the question. Um, we're going to go from there, and then I'll talk a little bit about the series more after. So here we go. Question one, where are you from? So I grew up in uh, Branchburg, New Jersey. It's a small town in the middle of New Jersey, um, and I grew up in a suburb, suburb um, not near any major cities, it's like a half an hour out and I was surrounded by green, deer, it was really nice, it was very peaceful, I loved it. Are you from question also can be like ethnically because I, I look, I don't look like specifically from one place. Um, I come from a Pakistani background, uh, even before that I guess you could say an Indian background depending on how far back you really want to go. Um, my family is mostly from the southern part of Pakistan. I grew up here though, I can speak the language okay. Um, as many people have aptly pointed out to me, I did need apparently a lot of work but I can get a conversation going and I can get through it so I mean the people who do judge me for it, that's fine. Um, where have you lived most of your life? I guess I answered that, New Jersey. And I moved to New York when I turned 18, like for like 80% of my life because I came to school at New York University to study history and Middle Eastern studies. So I'd go home on some weekends, stay here some weekends. I tried to balance it as best I could. Um, describe your family. I come from a family of four. It's pretty standard size. I think um, mom, dad, brother, uh, I'm the older sibling, I look like the younger sibling, how old are you, you look 14 is how the question is usually structured. Um, I'm 22 years old, uh, my birthday is in December, uh, so I, I guess I'm 22 and a half almost, um, I know I don't look it, it's partly why I took my glasses off for the video because contacts help make me look older sometimes, and eyeliner. Is this your natural hair? I get that a lot. So yeah, this is what it looks like if I come out of the shower and I put like this much like, Moroccan oil in it. This is this is how 
that happens. There's like no heat. I'm very lazy. I t towel dried it. This, this is how it is. And it's probably going to stay like this despite the multiple opinions of friends and family who wish that I would straighten it. Most enjoyable leisure activity. Uh, I love working out as my leisure activity. I'm very selfish about it. Um, other than that, I love reading fiction novels. Um, I can binge read Nicholas Sparks like There Is No Tomorrow and binge watch Bollywood movies again like There Is No Tomorrow. Um, what is your heart's desire? Okay, this is from a friend. Um, my heart's desire is to live a life and pursue and practice a career that makes me feel free and not caged and to constantly feel like I have control over my life and I'm not giving up control to someone else. Um, part of that includes uh, career-wise, I've never wanted to pursue a career where I would constantly be under the authority of someone else, so I am working towards trying to make sure I can be my own boss. Uh, that's the ideal situation. Um, it's much harder to pursue being an employer than an employee or a boss instead of an employee. I've seen it happen around me a lot, so I, yeah, I would rather work for myself and it comes with a lot of sacrifices. So, um, what is your career goal? I think I just talked about it. Um, more specifically, I am going to law school. Um, I'm not sure which one yet. I'm still deciding. I have a few weeks to decide. And I will be pursuing a JD. Hopefully, I'll be adding an MBA to it and doing both together. Mm, I'm not sure yet. And I will... I completing my personal training certification in New York City. It's a 300 hour course and then I will have my NASM certification, um, this American Academy of Personal Training certification, uh, the CPR AED certificates and all of that. So I will hopefully be a JD student who is working as a personal trainer part time and also doing online training. That's the that's the career goal I have right now. Eventually, in five years, that's another part of the question, where do you see yourself in five, ten years and in retirement? In five years, I hope to be making a sustainable income for myself without being any type, like any financially dependent on my parents. I will be under my own authority. I will not be answering to someone on a daily basis. And I will be doing something that I'm excited to wake up for instead of dreading to wake up for. In 10 years, I want all of the above to be true. I want to continue working for myself, but I would prefer to be home. Maybe 80% working from home, I mean, working on family life and stuff of that nature and pursuing writing at that time. What are you passionate about? I am passionate about respecting other people and their choices and the way they live their life. Um, if you are someone who likes to go out most nights of the week, I I applaud you, please do it because I'm not very good at it, I don't enjoy it as much, um, or as vice versa. Um, personally, I've learned this through the fact that I am vegan, I guess that's another fun fact. Um, and uh, being a Pakistani vegan has taught me a lot about judgment and how some people seem to tell me I uh, seem to believe that it is necessary to teach me about why I am wrong or to not even that constantly remind me that I'm different so I every meal that I eat I hear some type of comment like oh so you're eating salad again oh so what a shock you're eating tofu or don't you get bored eating that and at some point you just wanted to all stop you just and every time I catch myself about to judge someone for something they're doing whether it's eating pizza or whether it's deciding against uh, studying or doing work to go out and party every time I catch myself before I actually form any judgment I'm like how do you feel when someone makes you feel awkward or makes you feel abnormal for choosing to live life a certain way and so I would say that something I'm very passionate about is the phrase live and let live because after the past three and a half years of being vegan and coming from a Desi culture which means basically a subcontinental culture India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, like everyone um, I've learned that it is 
difficult to constantly be reminded that you chose to live life differently and that people are either judging you for it or make comments about it or find it necessary to talk about just in general. That goes for other things too. I've decided to pursue a lot of work on my own which comes at the cost of hanging out with people constantly or come at the cost of being the people pleaser that I was naturally born to be and a lot of relationships have suffered as a result partly because I can't I couldn't deal with criticism anymore or I couldn't deal with the, the very thin line between teasing someone and mocking someone so I guess that's another reason I'm very passionate about live and let live because I've seen other people not live by that and it has hurt me tremendously and I've lost a lot of friendships that meant a lot to me as a result so thank you for watching I have to go we'll get ready now for a birthday so, with people that I mostly like. So, I don't know how to do this. Uh, the battery died while I was recording and I was like mid-sentence and this is going to die very, very soon. But I had to get ready to go for a birthday dinner and that's why I look different. But I wanted to close off by saying that first episode of my time this Q&A uh, this intro and it's just my time to be selfish and to do what I really need to do um, and I hope that you join me on the journey while I try to figure out exactly what that is I'll probably screw up a lot and I probably will get off track sometimes and I'll do my best not to do that but thank you for joining me I hope you like the video I don't like asking for all of the fancy stuff but subscribing and liking just makes my job a little easier and it's just a really nice thing to wake up to and the support's really great so if you could do that that'd be great if you don't want to i understand i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and thank you so much